Hey guys, what is up? It is Shelby here with Guides for Us All, and today I'm going to be showing you how to beat the Hydra in Dark Souls. So, one thing that you're going to need is the Rusted Iron Ring, and to get that you need to go back to the Northern Undead Asylum after you've escaped, and go back to the upstairs area where you couldn't access before, and use the key that you get on the roof while going towards the Undead Asylum. I don't know how to explain it very well, but if you don't know how to get back to the uh, Undead Asylum, Watch my video I made on fighting the stray demon and you'll find out how to get there. So anyways, make sure you have that rusted iron ring equipped because it will improve your footing on poor grounds, basically in water. And you're going to be fighting the hydra in water the whole time, obviously, since it is a water serpent. So the hydra has, I believe, nine heads in mythology, and I think they stick with the mythology here. I'm pretty sure the hydra has nine heads in Dark Souls. And to kill it, you're going to need to cut all nine heads off. Now, this isn't very much of a problem. I recommend just standing kind of close to the edge there, and then just waiting for them to attack while holding your shield up. And once they attack, uh, just go up and chop whatever head is closest to you. Now, sometimes if you back away too far, they'll do that water attack. But if you're in the water, that attack can't hit you. It can't even get anywhere near you, just because of the fact that it shoots over your head. And do take note, if you can see where my guy's standing, there is a ledge in the water. And if you walk too far, you'll just fall straight off the ledge and die instantly. So be very careful of that. I cannot tell you how many times I've just walked off that ledge and died while fighting the stupid Hydra. And there you can see, that's what it looks like when you cut one of its heads off. And all the heads have different attack patterns, as in they are going to attack in different areas. As you can see, the heads are not attacking in the same areas each time. That's because all the heads attack in different spaces. And when you cut one head off, you will see the patterns of all the other heads. So this fight is mostly easy as long as you follow the tips that I've given you so far, but there is one last piece of advice that I would like to give you and that is to make sure you pick up the longbow and the feather arrows near the beginning of this level. And that is because the last head of the Hydra that you will most likely get to is so incredibly obnoxious to kill with your sword that you do not want to do that. You do not want to try and kill this thing with your sword. So have the longbow or have a crossbow and as you can see here, I'm using the longbow to shoot the Hydra's head because this one just, it's, it, it lands way too far away from your character to sprint towards and then cut it off. Some of these other heads were a little questionable, but this one is definitely just an annoyance to cut off. I mean, if you don't want to spend 15 minutes on this fight, make sure you have a longbow or a crossbow. And I'm not exactly positive on this, but in the video you can see I'm trying to aim for the Hydra's head the whole time. But if you have a crossbow, I think you can just lock onto the Hydra's body and just shoot the body and it'll damage it. So you don't actually have to shoot the head, I don't think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, leave a comment down below if I'm right or if I'm wrong. But if you have a crossbow or a longbow for that last head, just keep shooting the Hydra's body because there is no point, no point at all in trying to cut it off with a melee attack. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you could, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.